Well, it's another beautiful day and I'm doing another beautiful blog. Um, of course, uh, I'm not going to talk about a good topic. You, you know what's going on. Boy, the, the police have just killed a ton of people in the last week. Um, it's been all over the news and it's very disheartening. You think about all this body cam footage out there. These people are aware that they're being a film that they're being filmed on dash cam or whatever. And they still continue to kill people. Um, act arrogantly. You know, it's none of your business. You're just a civilian. You, you step off. Don't you ever question me. Um, you know, today I'm going to beat the crap out of a 73 year old dementia patient and break her, break her shoulder and her arm and then laugh about it and fist bump my buddies. Do you know how much that made me want to throw up? The level of arrogance. I mean, why would you treat a 73 year old dementia patient that way? It just makes me want to cry. Why would you, why would you just shoot somebody? You know, because it's a traffic stop. What is wrong with you people? Are, are the cops so afraid that we, the civilian people, are going to kill them that they'd rather kill us first than um, issue us a ticket? And of course, I shouldn't say us because I'm white. I'd probably get a pass, you know? I, I'm gonna tell you a story that somebody told me. So this is, you know, hearsay, but uh, this comes from a reliable source. I have a friend um, who's African-American and has a huge African-American husband. And when I say huge, I'm talking in the six foot four, uh, 250 pound range of big. And he was driving through Seaside, Oregon, and um, there was a problem with his car and he got pulled over. So put his license and his registration on the dash and put both of his hands on the steering wheel where the cop could see them and rolled his window down before the cop got there so that the cop could see his hands and that he provided all the information. And when the cop in Seaside walked up to his window, he said, sir, you can put your hands down. You're not in Portland. That's how bad it is. Okay, even the other cops know that there are certain cops from certain forces that are arrogant and ill-trained. And these are the people that kneeled on George Floyd for nine and a half minutes and killed him. These are the people who tell you they were reaching for a taser when they shot a guy. You know, after the, after the first pull of the trigger, I think I would have noticed that I wasn't firing a taser anymore. Taser only has a couple of shots. It's got only two darts. So I'm not sure, but we can't have this anymore. When you have a cop reaching for their weapon, you have to expect that you're going to have a deadly force situation because they made it that way. Every phone in your hand becomes a gun in those situations. And I can't deal with it. I just cry all the time and I just don't understand how you think that pepper spraying and tasing someone until they're dead because they don't want to go to a court hearing that morning because their mental illness is kicking in. You know, the Brown case, oh my gosh, we're looking at like seven just last week. So obviously avoid confrontation with the police. When it comes time to con have a confrontation with them, I suggest backing down 100 frickin' 50%. Even if you're in the right, shut up and sit down because you're not going to be able to be right with a bullet between your eyes. Does it matter at that point? No, it does not. So I'm asking the police out there to try to practice a little damn restraint. And for the rest of you out there causing trouble for the police, shooting at them, making fearful, them fearful for their lives, because that's the cycle. 
You make the cop scared, so he shoots first and asks questions later, or she does. And it's time to stop. Now I need to stop talking, because this is really upsetting me. All right. I'm going to put the smile on my face for the end. I'll see you next week. Um, stop the way you're thinking. Get the violence out. Start thinking about how could we solve this problem with all of these problems. Goodbye.